If you have ever wondered what the best online marketing method is, TikTok takes the throne without a shadow of a doubt. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video to find out exactly why. I can guarantee you're going to learn something today. Hey guys, I hope you're doing good and welcome back to the channel. It's good to see you again. If you happen to be new around here, my name is George and I'm a 19 year old from the UK who has been making YouTube videos over the past three months to entertain the world. Or should I say, my 146 subscribers. <laughs> Today I'm going to be delving into the depths of online marketing and explaining why the popular app TikTok is the almighty platform for any influencer, startup company or established business that is looking to bring attention to themselves. Before this video does start, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already to show some support to me. It really does mean a lot more than you think and it can help get the video out to more people that could potentially benefit from it. Without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so I'm not going to beat around the bush with this video, I'm going to get straight into the reasons why and the facts. I would also like to state quickly that I'm not that experienced with the whole process of digital marketing, I've just found out a little bit from experience. Also, this video is for entertainment purposes only, as always. When it comes to internet marketing, there are seven main routes which you can choose to go down. Social media marketing, influencer marketing, affiliate marketing, email marketing, content marketing, paid advertising, and search engine optimization. This is why TikTok is such a good platform to promote on because it easily covers four of these main methods. I'm not gonna go into precise detail about each type because some of them overlap and it would take way too long. Instead, I'm gonna explain the benefits and drawbacks of promoting on TikTok instead of doing it on other platforms like Facebook and Instagram. As you will know on TikTok, when you open up the app, you are straight away put on the For You page. This is pretty much the home screen of the app where random videos are generated based on your preference. This is content that has been made all across the world. You could get anything that comes up. That is before you start interacting with the app. As soon as you start interacting with videos and creators on the app, that's likes, comments, shares, and even time spent watching videos, TikTok takes this data and incorporates it into their algorithm. From here, they put out similar content to what you've liked and spent the most time interacting with before. For example, if I just made a new account and there's a variety of videos that come up and I only like dog videos, TikTok would begin to show me more dog videos on my For You page. Scooby -Doo -Doo. <laughs> and if you begin to post content on the app, the For You page is your main source of traffic. All you need to post videos is the app on your phone. And when you decide to make content on the app, TikTok will put your video and test it out on the For You page. And here's the main thing to note here. This happens completely free of charge. The high quality of the video, whether it be funny, interesting or informative, means more people will interact with it. The more interactions you get on the video, the further TikTok will push that video out on the For You page to other people. It's pretty much like a spider diagram. The video is in the middle. If it does well, it branches out a little bit further. If it gets a certain amount of branches again, it'll branch out a little bit more and it'll keep on going and going. From my experience from posting videos on TikTok, I tend to base the videos I post on a like to view ratio from one in 10. That means every 10 people that watch my video, I'll get at least one like on the video. This is the average I tend to set for all of the content I create. And if it does better than that, I'm happy. This can depend on how long the video is as well because if it's only a four second video, the same person can re-watch it and that will count as another view and obviously you can't like it more than once. But like I was saying with how TikTok puts your content out to other people, this is completely free. So if it is done well by a certain company or an individual which is looking to bring traffic to themselves or business, it can be very good and work out in your favor. This is completely different in comparison to other apps like Facebook and Instagram. Also, for those who don't know, Instagram is owned by Facebook, by the way. So if you do have both of them linked, which there is an option to do, you can actually post on stories and post actual posts on both at the same time. On Facebook and Instagram, if you want to put your content out to more people, you have to pay for advertising. 
I have actually tested this out on my Instagram account when I first started it up for the GLB Finance channel and it's reasonably priced. It ranges from around two to 10 pounds and that audience changes and I don't think it goes up more than 30,000 but you basically pay a certain amount to reach a certain audience and the more you pay, the more people it reaches. I'm pretty sure this varies depending on what account it is and what content you make, but it's still a fee which you have to pay. From the top of my head, I'm gonna take the average of five pounds spent on marketing to put out a certain post or story to I think six to 8,000 people. Now this does seem quite cheap in terms of the return which you can generate from it, but you've got to do it right. If you have a certain product or service which you are selling, I would highly encourage it, but if you're an influencer, not so much. The traffic which is generated from the promotion tends to be a lot more successful for somebody who is offering a product or service rather than someone that is just promoting themselves. This is because people are much more likely to get something which will benefit them, not just helping out somebody which is an influencer. For example, if you sell shoes or if you make birthday cakes. Somebody could actually see your promotion and think of a scenario where they could use it. So they'd be more likely to click on it and use your product or service. As well as this, you have to make sure that your Instagram or Facebook account has been put into your certain niche. So your promotion isn't just going out to random people. This way the promotion isn't wasted and you're reaching a set target audience which you want to hit. I'm going to do a full video on this at some point so drop a like if you are really interested or leave a little comment below. Anyway, if you take that content reach from Instagram and compare it to TikTok, it's quite a big difference. Let's take the cost of Instagram and Facebook promotions and compare them to TikTok. So you've got £5 and then you've got, oh yeah nothing if you post on tiktok and the video does well all of that traffic which you've just gained onto your page you've just got it for free you haven't had to pay money for it to reach your target audience it's just happened through the algorithm of the app and the best thing is your video would have been specifically picked for that person to come up on their for you page like i said earlier with your for you page content comes up based on what you've interacted with so if you're a business that has started up by selling dog toys and somebody's liking a lot of dog videos then your video would be much more likely to come up on their for you page than it would anybody else tiktok is a very fast flowing platform which has millions of active users every single day if you want the precise number they have 689 million active monthly users on their platform but if you compare it to facebook and instagram i've still got some work to do facebook is the most used app in the world with 2.6 billion active monthly users <laughs> Are you serious? Instagram coming in at under half of that with 1 billion active monthly users. Now, although there are more active users on Facebook and Instagram, TikTok has a huge audience which you can still reach for free. The only downside to posting on TikTok is that you have to make your video quite good for people to interact with it and you have to go by a couple of tips in order for it to do well on a For You page. TikTok is mainly dominated by the younger generations. I'd be very surprised if I saw your mum or dad on the app. If you are a business watching this video and you have been looking for another good method of marketing yourself online, I would highly recommend using TikTok and keeping your admin as young as possible so they can relate and adapt to current trends. A prime example of this is all of the English football teams which have started posting on TikTok and their content is actually really funny. Not only is this entertaining for the people watching the video, it makes them much more likely to buy and consume products and services that their business offers. For example, if a football club makes a good video, I might be more encouraged to watch one of their games online or go and see a match in person. I could actually end up being a loyal customer to that business and generating repeat purchase, which is only profitable for them in the future. This small concept can apply on a huge scale to every business which is marketing on there. 
if you have lost all hope and you cannot be bothered to make content and try and keep up with the adapting trends, you can always just pay influencers to promote your product. This is kind of an easy way out and it's pretty much the same as promoting on any other social media platform as you're just using the influencers following to benefit yourself. Obviously you're going to have to pay them in order to do so as they are technically your sponsor but if they make good content you could benefit a lot more from it. And if you can't seal a deal with any influencers, you can just use TikTok ads. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed my first video on online marketing with TikTok. It's quite an interesting topic to cover as the growing use of social media and the growth of the internet is only going to make it more and more necessary for businesses in the future. If you do want me to make more content on this subject in the future, leave a little comment below as I've got some possible video ideas. If you haven't done so already, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe as it really does mean a lot to me. We're nearly at 150 subs. As always, stay safe and go make some money. I'll see you in the next one.